that once you come to know and you still don't care, now it's rightful that Allah should be angry with you. Now it's rightful that the other creations of Allah could be angry with you. Now it's rightful that maybe on judgment day your own loved ones are angry with you. Because once you know, you are responsible. At the end, we ask Allah, Sirat al ladina an'amta alayhim, ghayr al maghdubi alayhim wa al And there's so much to talk about here, but I'll just give you a couple of quick things. The difference between al maghdub alayhim and al dalin is actually really interesting. al maghdub alayhim is people that you're angry at, or the people that, you're, that you have a right to be angry at, because they know something is wrong and they do it anyway. Someone who knows something is wrong and does the wrong thing anyway, you're supposed to be mad at them. Someone who had no idea something was wrong and they did it, they were just lost. You understand? They were lost. al maghdub alayhim, we translate that as not of those, we don't, we, we want the path of those who you favored, who you made ease, ease for, but we don't want the path of those who receive anger, the recipients of anger. Who are the recipients of anger? Who know the wrong thing and do it anyway. And we don't want to be of people who are lost. Now, let's talk about these two and then we'll, I'll come back to an'amta alayhim. Al maghdub alayhim means that if you seek knowledge, you're like you are sitting here seeking knowledge now, that once you come to know and you still don't care, now it's rightful that Allah should be angry with you. Now it's rightful that the other creations of Allah could be angry with you. Now it's rightful that maybe on judgment day your own loved ones are angry with you. Because once you know, you are responsible. There are some people who have this twisted attitude, don't tell me anything, because once I know, I'll become responsible. I don't want to know. Because once I know, I'll be asked about it. Uh, if you're smart enough to know that you're not supposed to know, <laughs> that actually means you know and you're going to be asked. <laughs> nice try though, it was a nice try. It's cute. Don't tell me, because Allah will ask me about it. Allah will already ask you because you know enough to not know. <laughs> to not want to know. <laughs> Gotta pull the fast one on Allah. No, you, you can't. The other thing in al maghdub alayhim, not only do you know, have knowledge, and you don't act on it, but also that there are, there are some people, Allah talks about them in Surah Al-Jathiyah, He says, وَأَضَلَّهُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ How do people become like that? There are some people Allah describes, Allah allowed them to be misguided even though they have knowledge. You would think if someone has knowledge, how could they be misguided? If someone has knowledge, how could they be misguided? Some people think if you, if you learn a lot of Arabic, then inshallah you'll understand the Qur'an and then you'll be a good person. Uh, Abu Lahab understood Arabic really well. He was really good at Arabic. I'm never going to be as good as Abu Lahab at Arabic. Abu Jahl understood Arabic or no? He understood Arabic. Pretty good too. Walid ibn Mughira, one of the worst enemies of Islam, understood Arabic. Knowledge is not enough. And by the way, they didn't just understand Arabic, they understood the Qur'an. They understood the Qur'an. The Qur'an was being revealed to them. It was given to them. They were listening to it all the time. And they completely understood what was being said. So much so that it would respond to the Qur'an too. And Allah says, وَلَقَدْ فَإِنَّمَا يَسَّرْنَاهُ بِلِسَانِكَ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ We've made it easy on your tongue so that they can remember it. Whoa! Quraysh, Kufar can remember the Qur'an, it's that easy even for them. So understanding the Qur'an does not make you a good person. That's just knowledge. Knowledge is enough 
Some people just think it stops at knowledge. So they become obsessed with knowledge. So they're messed up in a bunch of stuff in life, but they take every course they can. And they take every, they, they listen to every download in the world. And they study and they study and they've got like copies of notes and like notebook and notebook and notebook with notes and notes and notes and notes and notes. And, notes. and yet they're still messed up people. That is not what you, you and I are supposed to be. We didn't come on this earth to learn Islam only. We, actually, learning is a means to an end. We came to learn so that we can live this deen. We came to learn so we can think. Well, I mean, there's going to be a whole session about thinking. Today, I, I've taught you some ways how to think. Right? How do you think about Alhamdulillah? How do you think about Rabbil Alameen? I've taught you some aspects of thinking. But we're going to talk a lot about thinking. Because if there's one thing that's in the Qur'an that's really interesting to me, it is Allah actually talks little about knowledge and a lot about thinking. He talks a little about knowledge and He talks a lot about thinking. There's a difference between those two. The problem with Al-Maghdubi alayhim is they have knowledge, but unfortunately they don't have the right kind of thinking. You see, knowledge does not necessarily transform into action. It is actually the right kind of thinking. When you think about the knowledge that you have, that turns it into action. It's that missing ingredient in between. If you don't think about what you know, it will never move forward. You can believe in, the you can believe in judgment day. Did you, before you came to this program, did you believe in judgment day already? You did. But if you don't think about it, it won't change anything in you. If you don't spend time to actually consider, whoa, I believe in judgment day. Everybody here knew they were slaves of Allah. But if you stop to think about the fact that you're slaves of Allah, something happens. Giving this some thought changes something inside you. It is thinking that is the most important vehicle. Bani Israel, were they knowledgeable? Were they knowledgeable? Yes. You know what criticism Allah makes of them? Afala ta'aqilun. Why don't you think? Don't you think then? Don't you use your intellect? So al maghdubi alayhim are people who know, but they don't think and they don't act. Knowledge itself, not enough. 